Nginx is a high performance HTTP server, reverse proxy, and load balancer. If you are in the web development business, you have probably heard of it. But what's a reverse proxy and how we can use Nginx to serve PHP applications? These are the questions we are going to answer in this video. Stay tuned. PHP applications typically run behind PHP FPM, which is a process manager that maintains several processes. These processes can respond to commands for running PHP applications. However, they cannot respond to web requests on their own. They need a proxy service to take the web requests, pass them on, and then deliver the response. Now, this type of proxy is called a reverse proxy. It sits in front of a server and handles all its communication with all external clients. On the other hand, a forward proxy sits in front of a client, like a web browser, and handles all its communication with the internet. Using Nginx as a reverse proxy for PHP FPM is the most common usage of this amazing service. One thing about Nginx that makes it the best tool for the job is that it uses an asynchronous event-driven approach where requests are handled in a single thread. That means it can handle a very, very large number of requests concurrently without any blocking. Installing Nginx on Ubuntu servers is pretty straightforward. We use the apt package system and run apt install Nginx and we are good to go. However, configuring Nginx for managing several secure websites on the same server and acting as a load balancer can be a lot of work. In Laravel Forge, we hide all the complexity of configuring Nginx behind a friendly user interface. We also utilize a set of default configurations to ensure your server is protected against unwanted requests from the outside world. To get started, head over to your Forge dashboard at forge.laravel.com and click on Create Server. Choose a server provider from the list and create the app server or a web server. These types of servers will have PHP, PHP FPM, and Nginx installed by default. After the server finishes provisioning, you may head to the server settings screen and verify that Nginx is installed by checking the restore drop-down menu. You will see Nginx listed there as a service. You may also use this menu to restart any of the services on your server including Nginx and PHP FPM. Also, if you head over to the PHP tab, you can update the maximum file upload size and maximum execution time. Configuring these values requires several changes in the Nginx and PHP configuration files on the server, but Forge takes care of all of that for you. Now, to add a new site to your server, you may fill the new site form with the domain name, any aliases you want to use, the project type, the web directory to be used for serving requests, the PHP version, and whether or not you want to allow subdomain or wildcard subdomains on this site. By clicking the Add button, Forge will configure Nginx to proxy requests coming to the site domains to, FP, to PHP FPM. And if you choose the Laravel Octane project type, Forge will configure Nginx to proxy web requests to your Octane server. And of course, you can customize the port number you use for Octane. At this point, Forge will also prepare the site for getting served securely over TLS by enabling TLS version 1.3 and generate a stronger Diffie-Hellman key to make it exponentially hard for any attacker to decipher the communication between your users and the server. Also, it will add security headers to all responses coming out of your server, like setting the X-Frame options header to same origin so your website cannot be loaded inside other sites on the internet, also enabling XSS protection by attaching an X XSS protection header with proper configuration. And finally, Forge will configure the www domain to redirect to the root domain if your site was added with the root domain. 
or redirect the root domain to the www domain if the site was added with the www domain. That way, users can access your website from either domain. Once the site is added, you may view and customize the Nginx configuration files using the Edit Files menu and choosing Edit Nginx Configuration. In case you made configuration mistakes, Forge will give you a warning with details on the issue so you can act and fix it. Having a faulty Nginx configuration file will prevent your entire server from handling HTTP requests, or you, all your sites will go down if one Nginx configuration file is invalid. And that's why Forge double checks after you so you can act fast if there's any problem. Also, if you head over to the meta tab of the site settings screen, you can change the site domain, the aliases, the web directory, and the PHP version. Forge will take care of updating all the PHP, FPM, and Nginx files to set things right. Other things you may configure with Forge is enabling SSL protection for your sites, adding uh, redirect rules, and adding HTTP basic authentication for your entire site or specific paths of the site. We will look into all these incredible features that Nginx and Forge offer in future videos. We will also explore how you can use Nginx as a load balancer to distribute web traffic amongst two or more servers, which is often used for websites that receive high volume of traffic. So there you go, a quick introduction to Nginx and Forge. If you haven't tried Forge yet, sign up at forge.laravel.com and use common code Arts and Deploy for a 10% discount on your first three months. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.